It's time for Betsy's Food for Thought, a guide to the Nina Variations by Stephen Beats. The playwright's inspiration for this bittersweet comedy came from a Russian classic. You don't need to have seen or read The Seagull to enjoy the Nina Variations, but a little background information never hurts. Anton Chekhov was a physician, journalist, short story writer, and oh yes, playwright. He's considered one of the greatest short fiction writers in history, who once described his dual careers by saying, Medicine is my lawful wife, and literature is my mistress. So writing for the theater was basically his backup backup gig. Still, he wrote four very well-known plays, one of which is The Seagull. In a nutshell, The Seagull has four acts, 14 characters, and almost everyone is in love with someone who does not love them back. You see, it's really a play about romantic triangles. In the first half of the play, we learn that school teacher Semyon loves Masha, the daughter of the estate steward. But Masha loves Treplev, the young playwright. Treplev is in love with Nina, his neighbor, who's a young actress. But Nina falls for visiting famous novelist Trigorin, who is at first in love with Treplev's mom, Arkadina. Meanwhile, Polina, Masha's mom, has an affair with the local doctor, Dorn. When Masha tells Dorn about her longing for Treplev, he helplessly blames the lake for making everybody feel romantic. The act ends with Treplev attempting suicide, but failing at that, too. Near the end of the second act, down by the lake, Treplev gives Nina a seagull he has shot. Nina is confused and horrified at the gift. Treplev sees Trigorin approaching and leaves in a jealous fit. Trigorin composes a short story for Nina on the spot. A young girl lives all her life on the shore of a lake. She loves the lake like a seagull, and she's happy and free like a seagull. But a man arrives by chance, and when he sees her, he destroys her, out of sheer boredom, like this seagull. This foreshadows their relationship from that moment forward. Curiously, the play takes place nowhere near a sea or ocean. The only water mentioned in the play is a lake, so several translations title the play The Gull instead. The second half of the play starts the next morning and ends two years later, or perhaps it just feels like it. Nina finds Trigorin eating breakfast and proclaims her devotion to him. Treplev enters and asks his mother Arkadina to change his head bandage. Trigorin agrees to return with Arkadina to Moscow. After Arkadina leaves, Nina tells Trigorin she is running away to become an actress. They kiss passionately and make plans to meet again in Moscow. The last act takes place during the winter two years later. Masha has finally accepted Semyon's marriage proposal, and they have a child together, though Masha still nurses an unrequited love for Treplev. Nina and Trigorin lived together in Moscow for a time, but then he abandoned her and went back to Arkadina. Nina never achieved any real success as an actress and is currently on a tour of the provinces with a small theater group. Treplev has had some short stories published, but is increasingly depressed. When most of the play's characters go to the drawing room to play bingo, Treplev works on a manuscript at his desk. He is surprised to find Nina at the back door. She tells him about her life over the last two years. She starts to compare herself to the seagull that he killed, then rejects that and says, I am an actress. She was forced to tour with a second-rate theater company after the death of the child she had with Trigorin, and has since gained self-confidence. Treplev pleads with her to stay, but his pleading means nothing. She embraces him and leaves. Despondent, he silently tears up his manuscripts before leaving the study. As the others return to their bingo game, there is a sudden gunshot from offstage. Dorn goes to investigate. He returns and tells Trigorin to get Arkadina away, for Treplev has just shot himself. How did the first production of Chekhov's comedy go? Not so smoothly. The opening night of the first production was a famous failure. The audience who came to see the play was disappointed, as it was falsely advertised as a benefit performance for a more well-known actress, but she was only in a sketch after the play. Their anger was immediate and intense. They were hissing at the actors by the end of the first act. Actress Vera Komisarzyevskaya, who played Nina, was so intimidated by the audience's hostility she lost her voice. Chekhov left the audience and spent the last two acts hiding behind the scenes. He swore he would never write another play or see his work acted again. When supporters wrote to him that the seagull became a success at later performances in St. Petersburg, he assumed they were merely trying to be kind. Chekhov, here seen center holding the script, fared much better in the 1898 Moscow premiere of the play, directed by Konstantin Stanislavsky. Yes, that Stanislavsky. The Seagull's popular success gave the company its sense of identity, so the Moscow Art Theater to this day bears the Seagull as its emblem. Other famous Ninas include Uta Hagen, Laura Linney, Natalie Portman, Carrie Mulligan, and Sir Ronan. Who else has played Treplev? 
Sevalod Meyerhold, the Russian actor and director who developed the actor training system of biomechanics, played the role in 1898 in Moscow. Philip Seymour Hoffman and Ethan Hawke have also taken on the role. Which brings us to Betsy's production of the Nina Variations. Stephen Dietz's play imagines 43 variations on the second to last scene of The Seagull. Betsy's production features 10 Colorado-based actors, including five members of the Betsy Ensemble. The Nina Variations was shot on several days over the course of two months at our Betsy East rehearsal space in Westminster. We split the 43 variations between the five couples, sorting the scenes by themes, dominant emotions, and repeated phrases. There are male and female Ninas in the couples, just as there are male and female treplevs. To make tracking who's in each role simpler, watch the costumes. Nina will always be dressed in white or light colors, while treplev will be wearing darker apparel. Join us online for the Nina Variations, available to watch in the comfort of your own home from August 17th to 30th. You can join Betsy for all the fun of our fall 2020 season or buy single tickets for this show at the web address on your screen. We'll see you there.